viewers from all over the world who are still broadcasting and coming to you live from the bottom of the mountain, number 11, Chatter Road, opposite Copy Post Office. With me here is a pastor who came from Harare. My brother, can you tell me your name and where you came from? I'm Pastor Mutsengere, the God from Tsengere. I'm coming from Manu Marapra. I'm from the House of Liberty Ministry in Harare. Okay. Can you tell us the reason why you decided to come here? Because it is very difficult for pastors to visit another ministry. Uh, yesterday, I was uh, watching this program after attending the prayer mountain in Bindura. I was watching this program in Bindura. It was first time to see the ministry, even to see the man of God. And the man of God was preaching on the fruit as well on the revelation water. And he was saying, even pastors are coming here, even prophets are coming here to, to partake the anointing. So I decided to come. So he said I came here around T11 or so, but um, I, I have no money. So I was advised by Amai to come today. So that's why I'm here today. I want to receive the same anointing. I want to be delivered. I want to have mentorship in the, in the kingdom of God. Amen. Okay, you told us that you are one of the pastors in Harare here. Yes. Uh, and are you facing any challenges in your ministry? Yes, the ministry is not growing. Uh, we are ever small, sometimes even going uh, less. There's no expansion in the ministry. Uh, financially, uh, there's no uh, giving which is taking place. Those are some of the challenges which are, we are facing as a ministry. Okay, you told us that you were coming from the prayer mountain. Have you ever gone to other places in search of divine counsel? Or it is your first time to visit another man of God in search of counsel and whatever? Uh, it is the first time from the prayer mountain where I spent three days in the mountain. So when I saw this program, uh, there was some kind of revelation to me that I have to come here. Because apart from my ministry, me as a, as a person, I'm facing also some challenges. Uh, uh, those people whom I work for, uh, save organization, they have not paid me for a long period of time. So I have a lot of money outstanding, not paid. And I used to have some business, and a lot of people went away with my finances. So things are not moving. At the moment, I'm um, having some uh, projects. I want, I want to start your primary and secondary schools, but I don't have the financial helpers to lift me up to a certain level. And things are, are depressing on me. And also looking at my children, uh, they are facing some difficulties. Some are not married. Their projects are not moving on. My wife, I'm diabetic, by the way. I'm diabetic as well. I got high blood pressure. My wife uh, got a, a backache. She got also high blood pressure. So some, those are some of the challenges we are facing as a family. Okay, Pastor, let me tell you one thing. The reason why you are facing those challenges is because the devil was holding on your businesses. The devil was holding on your finances. The devil was just trying to torment you so that you can leave the work of God that you are doing. So because you came here today, what exactly are you expecting to receive from Jesus Christ of Nazareth? Uh, from what I saw on the TV yesterday, I have a great faith that today I'm going to receive. I'm going to be healed. I'm going to be delivered. I'm going to be restored. And I'm going to claim what is mine in Jesus' mighty name. Okay. So what advice can you give to other pastors, to other prophets, to other apostles, and to other men of God who are out there, who are facing challenges that you have been facing all along? Yes, as pastors or any other level of uh, mentorship here, we are at different levels of, uh, of uh, blessing. So if you have some men of, men of God who got the gift of God, to lift you up, to deliver you, even to, have, to be a mentor for you. I think I advise them to come and visit this area and see the man of God here so that you are anointed, so that you go and work the great work of Jesus Christ uh, with, the, with the power and authority of Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay. My brother, let me tell you that because you came here today, your life will never be the same again. God will continue to richly bless you in all your endeavors, that you may succeed in everything that you need. May God continue to bless you. God bless you. I receive. Thank you.